I really got to critique my own team here. I'm um, in the Atlanta Falcons. They really did not impress me on one of these ends of the ball. But anyway, the Falcons, they defeated the New Orleans Saints 26 to 14. And there was a game winning kick by Young Hoku that really won the Falcons this game. It was like a 58 yard kick. And man, it just brought it home for the Atlanta Falcons. But the biggest takeaway from this game here of watching this huge rival uh, between the Falcons and the Saints was the Falcons defense saved the day once again. The Falcons defense were there. They got stops. They were the only ones scoring touchdowns, including special teams. But outside of Young Hoku, the defense and special teams, the Atlanta Falcons offense didn't do anything on the field. They couldn't get the ball in the end zone. So that was a, a just a, a disturbing offense to watch, which I'll explain in just a sec. But got to give kudos to the defense, first of all, because the defense, they score all the touchdowns in this game for the Atlanta Falcons. They had a pick six that went and put up six points and obviously the extra point on there. The special teams unit ended up putting up six points as well, recovering a muffed punt return. So you got to love that. But this is the third straight game from the Atlanta Falcons defense where they forced a turnover. And this is huge because you haven't been playing scrubs, especially with the schedule that they have. They forced Patrick Mahomes to throw an interception, Jalen Hurts to throw an interception, and also Derek Carr to throw an interception. And ultimately, two of these three games were wins. So this is something to be excited about if you are the Atlanta Falcons. The fact that they finally, they finally have a defense to be proud of. And they finally have a defense that can actually win you ball games, and that's making big plays. However, the only concern I have here with the Falcons defense is just the linebacker unit. I know some injuries still going on. Um, hopefully everybody's fully healthy at the end of the season and stuff. But above all, you know, what I'm watching here on the field, I'm seeing the linebacker unit get targeted a lot. The safeties and the corners, they're playing over top to make sure they block off any big plays that could potentially happen. But above all, we're letting teams turn seven yards into 20 yards. We got killed by the Saints because of that. It was also a little bit difficult to stop the run game in the first half. However, I got to give kudos and got to give credit where it's due because Troy Anderson, he, he faces a lot of criticism about being a young linebacker for the Atlanta Falcons. And this dude played really well against the Saints, man. 16 total tackles. He had the pick six. He had one tackle for a loss. Like You got to give this guy credit. And I, I think he really shows his potential at times. Um, and, and again, covering receivers and tight ends and running backs is probably the most difficult thing for our defense right now within that linebacker unit. But above all, we've seen some adjustments being made that ultimately helped the Falcons buckle down and lock in and ultimately win the game. So I'm excited about the defense. Can clean up a little bit, but the defense is definitely better than the offense. And it's not even close right now with the Falcons because the offense, the struggles are tremendous. It, it, it's awful. It's awful. It's, it's sad to watch. We came in with so much hype watching the Atlanta Falcons offense. We had Kirk Cousins hype. We had B. John Robinson coming back for all his hype. Kyle Pitts, who ain't did a damn thing. All his hype was there. Drake London, he plays fairly well. But we had so much hype surrounding this offense just for very, very little production. And it is not good for the Atlanta Falcons if you claim to be going to the Super Bowl and claim to be being a legitimate contender in the NFC. Because the defense will not be able to carry you game after game after game after game if you can't even get in the end zone at all this is the part that's disturbing not only is the play calling uh bad but also the play from our quarterback is bad too but let's just start with the play calling the play calling is is awful i love the designs that we see from our offensive coordinator zach robinson zach robinson can come up with some good designs for the falcons but when they are called means everything this guy is calling three passing plays when you're third and five or second and five and fourth and five like you're calling plays at the wrong time and it's ultimately hurting because we're not picking up yardage and we're not capitalizing on the advantages we have one of these advantages being a dynamic duo in the backfield between Algier and Bijan Robinson Drake London on the outside Kyle Pitts is a huge advantage that we have but we don't utilize them. 
So the offensive play call is a huge aspect where the Falcons got to clean up because we see some creativity there, and, and it seems to be getting better and better each week, even though they kind of took a step backward in this Saints game. But above all, that, that has to improve. The offensive play call has to improve in order for everything else to start flowing. The next thing that has to work with the Atlanta Falcons offense, Kirk Cousins. Bruh, Kirk Cousins. I get it. He ain't never really been the perfect quarterback. Kirk Cousins, Cousins ain't never been the guy to, you know, wow you and play the perfect game. He's always been that quarterback that's going to get better through the game, make his mistakes and clean them up as the game goes on and ultimately win you a game. And I can accept that part. But what I cannot accept here is that Kirk Cousins threw an interception or had a turnover in three of the four games that the Falcons have played so far. That is unacceptable, bro. This is an offense that's supposed to be a high tier in this conference and they're looking sloppy from the head to toe of offensive play call and all the way to executing on the field on the offensive end of the ball. So they have to clean this part up here. And as far as the uh, what Kirk Cousins is doing, I mean, yeah, he can put the ball in certain places at times, but when you're giving the ball to the other team multiple times in a game, it hurts. It hurts. And right now, with the Falcons offense and, and what we see from Kirk Cousins and the play call and all, it just shows me that they're skating by. They're skating by. They're barely winning these games. They're bare, they're coasting by. The defense is saving everything that they're doing. They're barely winning these ball games, and they're just skating by. And until the Atlanta Falcons are running like a whale oil machine, week after week, I, I don't want to hear no noise about being a an actual Super Bowl contender or a big time contender in the NFC. These boys got to get it together. If you improve each week, then okay, you get a little bit of leeway. But this was a step backwards against the Saints. It was it was a step backwards, man. They got to improve on that offensive end, and you know the defense. They stood tall. They did their thing. But we got to get both sides of the ball really, really clicking. And if the Falcons can get both sides clicking, offense and defense, then then we can talk about you know how far this team can go. But right now, let's just get back to the basics. Let's sort it out and, and let's make sure we can fix some things. But 